la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 what's up la 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 leo what's up lines what's up line gang it's pop it's fun in the life of a leo for the month of April 2019. <laughs> Are we focused on our creative endeavors, our passions, and what are just kind of seeing, and kind of really, I would say, reflecting on where it is that we see the next move taking us? You know, what? how can my next move be with this move? All right. So I feel like a lot of my Leos are in a very, um, very, very peaceful place. I feel that you guys are really purging, okay? And in the midst of that purging, I feel that some of you all are really having an interesting time with embracing change, all right? So we're going to talk about it. Hey, boo, hey, it's the first time watching my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if it's the first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free find another beautiful reader on YouTube. Yeah, best assist you without cussing, okay? Because me, I'm going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, you guys. We'll do, this, we'll do this function. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss. <laughs> we cuss. We do that. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve, okay? Posy vibes only. To my returning family, what's up, baby? What's going down? We mother, 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 made it. You understand? We gonna keep on, and we gonna ease this thing on now. Yes, we is. All right, we gonna keep it pushing. Um, thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. I do read all of my comments. It's a whole lot of y'all. A whole lot. My soul family is getting big, and we steady expanding and growing. So with that said, y'all, it's hard. I, I, I love y'all. It's a bunch of y'all asses be emailing me. I be busy, busy, okay? But even in the midst of my busy, busy, I always make sure I try to um, respond to each and every comment, all right? So thank you guys just for being a part of my family. I really, I really appreciate it, okay? You guys, I'm over this shadow uh, retrograde and Pisces shit. I'm, I'm truly over it because I'm still fucking up with my words. I got a Pisces moon and my Venus and Gemini, you know, so get a little shifty, you know, when it comes to certain things. So you guys bear with me, okay? If my words fucking up, we are gonna get it together. We are gonna ease this thing right on now. Yes, we did, okay? This is not a um, personal reading. It's a general. It's not gonna resonate with everybody, okay? So you guys take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make the damn shoe fit. If it don't fit, your ass gonna fall. All right? It's just not gonna happen. I don't want to be following the shit. Not time for that. All right. So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo. Yes, I am a bit ratchet. I I'm up, and you know when you can't sleep and you up, you just come and do a damn Leo reading. Why don't you? Hell yeah. And if, a few others, if we can get it on out there, because I know Aries about want to cut me right now, but they don't understand that I am an Aries, and we've been having shit popping off and going down, you know, and if you understand me, then you understand my lingo, and if you didn't understand my lingo, ask a friend, family understand, that's it, um, you guys, we're going to get right into it, alright, so we're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month of April, alright, so what I got for my lines, I got past life, vulnerable, kundalini, it's safe, Blessings, abundance, cycles, dreams, pride blocks, Taurus, cancer, catalyst, visions, ego death, Libra, Capricorn, shifting realms, apology, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, sexual energy, momentum, new contracts. Come through, Leo. Let's talk about it, all right? So, 
your angel message for the month. You guys got Archangel Ariel, okay? Spread your wings. It says, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are ready to soar. Again, I definitely feel that, you guys, this month is going to be about, it's going to be a month of newness, okay? Leo is really going to get serious with their damn self and really ask yourself, what is it that I want? What is it that I deserve? Okay, and really reflect on where it is that you've been to truly understand that you have no reason to sit back and be scared. You have no reason to just sit back and just sit back and don't ever get your ass up and make moves. You've been thinking forever. Now it's time to actually move on your endeavors. For some of you all, it definitely has to do with your soul path and your life purpose. Okay. This month is definitely going to be about the heart chakra. There's a lot of green within your spirit message, okay? Some of you all could have a heart chakra union coming in the month of April. I definitely feel like this is the energy that will be coming from the month of March, like two to three weeks or like the second week of March into April. So going into April uh, between the 1st and the 15th, you guys could have possibly met an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This person, this, this connection is past life. Uh, you guys have a past life connection. I definitely feel like you or the other person, you could have recently go, oh, uh, you could have recently undergone an awakening or this could be the anniversary. I'm hearing anniversary. So this could be the anniversary of your, um, of your actual spiritual awakening from possibly, um, someone who could possibly be returning during this time. Cause I'm hearing return. So some of you guys, this could be someone who is returning who could have been the catalyst to your awakening. And they want, the spirit wants you to see the situation, see the underlying circumstance, okay, of what happened from a spectrum of love because I definitely feel like this has to do with your past life karma as well as a lesson that you had to learn within this life to take you into your higher self with knowing how to damn maneuver okay so don't there's a there's a focus on Leo's with letting go a lot of you all um spirit is saying a lot of you all are holding on to hurtful circumstances even if these are not hurtful circumstances these this could have been um a situation in the past or something that you see as stable even though it's hurting you to do so some of you all are hold, holding on to toxic and codependent situations um i'm hearing verbal okay so this could be verbal abuse some of you guys you have to understand you have to find that self-love within yourself and for some of you all you could have moved away from this person however you're still holding on to the hurt behind it which has this 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 sense of fear okay around opening up your heart and being um truly receptive to new love okay for some of you all your biggest desire is love okay and to have that divine connection with somebody that connection where you know, you have that telepathic connection, but more so that soul felt connection, that connection where you don't really have to say a damn thing. Your partner just know, you know, was before I even get home, let me go ahead and get this damn water and go ahead and get this, you know, get these damn incense because I've seen she only had two. A person who just knows you inside and out somewhere where you feel I'm hearing safe. So this could be a safe place for some of you all the issue there's a fear of opening up the heart space to someone and truly being vulnerable vulnerable because in the past when you've done that it has never been safe but you receiving a blessing during this time and this is someone to assist you in healing as well as to provide you that safety but you're going through this period of some of y'all during this time patience is going to be your biggest fight and, you know, as fire signs, I'm an Aries. We want shit when we want it. We want it how we want it when we want it, okay? But for some of you all, you're holding on to something, okay, or someone, and I feel like it's hurting you to do so because it's kind of like they want you not to pass judgment on yourself. It's like you, you, you're looking at yourself through an eye of, like, 3D, from, from 3D, from a 3D judgmental perspective. Like, you're looking at, okay, well, I want to hold on to this relationship or in order to hold on to this relationship I have to be able to provide this even though I hate what the fuck I'm doing some of y'all hate your fucking job period and it's it, it's a catalyst for some of you all in a past life your karma could, could, could have, your karma could have consisted of letting go okay 
For some of you all, you got an earth sign that really wants to give you that security. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, um, some of you all, some of you all, that connection could involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you or this person within your energy, okay? Take your high roll. But during this time, some of you all, there's definitely some, some heart chakra activation activity going on in the month of April for you all. Some of y'all, some of you guys are desiring to be by water, especially you guys who do connect with water goddesses. Some of y'all are trying to manifest. Manifest this newness, manifest this new abundance, manifest uh, for some of you all this new endeavor that is connected to your soul purpose, your life path, what it is that you came here to do. For some of you all it has to do with public speaking. For others of you it has to do with children and like Somebody is thinking about adopting children or some of you all could have grown up as like foster kids or like kids of like in, in like child protective services. Whoever I'm speaking to, you've, you've possibly had some type of fertility issue as well. Some of you all may be thinking about actually or receive some type of revelation or have some type of dream during this time of uh, random children. For some of you all, you may move to a space where you want to adopt children or foster children or have some type of connection to children. For some of you all, this is going to help you heal. And for some of you all, you're being blessed with that news back. It's positive news coming back in the month of April. That that is going to be successful. It's going to be prosperous. This could also have to do with someone with a daycare center as well. Somebody could be trying to manifest a daycare. You have a life path around children. For some of you all, you could be dealing with it. Some of y'all who have an earth sign sun, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you all, there, there's a strong connection with the family, like security the family. Some of you all who have a Capricorn towards Virgo sun, this person. Okay, y'all know I get real because I feel like whomever this is, there's a strong belief and tied to traditional beliefs and religion. And you feel disconnected from your baby. This could be someone who um, is a single father or a single parent. Um, the reason why you're not connecting with your baby, I feel that there's a sense of hurt. It's a sense of abandonment, but I feel that you know that abandonment oh so well, but you, you tend to work through it. Like using, I mean, literally like work through it. You go to work through it. And I feel like whomever this baby is, or this person, this baby, this baby is not a baby, first and foremost. This baby is everywhere between 14 and 22. But I feel like you've been trying to extend your love and connect with your son. This person has a, has a fear of you judging them for some of you all. Um, your son could be coming to tell you that they like the same sex. You could be um, someone who grew up like in a church or in some type of like religion that would just completely like, you know, judge that. And for some of you all, it's a fear of judgment. And so your son has automatically taken this exact fear of judgment um, from you. But I definitely feel like I feel like mending fences. Whomever I'm speaking about, your baby is going to be the one to actually help you move towards your life path. Because whomever this son is, they're very creative. And whomever this same sex partner is, they're rich in resources. So they can kind of connect, help you connect the dots if you if you choose to be allowing, accepting, and open-minded. Some of y'all really need to get out in nature. For some of you all, spirit is, some of y'all want to work on your physical appearance. Now, just, let me tell you, honey, this is not me throwing no rocks, boo, because, huh, I'm not a size three, okay? Six, ten, either. That's my goal. But damn it, you're not talking about me. I'm talking about the damn Leo. Sun, moon, rising.
more than Mercury too. Nothing's past like shit. But some of y'all want to manifest losing weight, okay? And for some of you all, you've been trying to manifest this. And for some of you all, the reason why this is not happening is because you're holding on to your same obsessive ways. I mean, you it's like going to go work out. You're going to go walk or whatever. And then you go get a 20 fucking piece wing for wing stop. A, a mango habanero or some fucking uh, atomic wings and shit with a diet Dr. Pepper thinking that you're going to. You know, because you've been taking them little uh, metabolism pills and shit, you, you think you're just gonna just just gonna fall out? Cause see, my addiction is Starbucks coffee, and I'm working on it. But it's it's not it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? You gotta do something different in order for in order for you to see things happen differently. Change is good, Leo. And you damn thick signs is being pushed off the cliff and forced into change. Don't feel good. But it feels good when you're winning. Hello. During this time, things are coming into alignment. You, you may feel that things are happening to you, okay? Especially when it comes to some type of work environment. For some of you all, when it comes to a biz business endeavor, this is the time to move and uh, to pretty much have a sense of momentum. Some of you all may be um, thinking about gardening during this time as a sense of release. Especially those of you who are getting over some type of addiction spirit says uh, when it comes to like drinking or smoking for those of you that for, the, the, for some of you all being outside is going to be a very therapeutic release for you all to heal. Some of you all things are um, Things, the London Bridge could be falling down in the month of April. If you, if you were experiencing uh, a recent tile moment coming out of the month of March, it's like your newly single, um, just random tile moments, okay? I definitely feel that they want you to know that things are not happening to you before you to align you with this heart chakra union, something that is heartfelt. For some of you all, you're getting ready to meet your life partner. For some of you all, this is aligning, for you to, aligning you to come to this sense of harmony with your twin flame. And embarking you up on some type of going into new, some type of life cycle. Some of y'all, some of you all have some type of fascination to dragons or um, like ancient. Some of y'all may have a, a strong a, a pool or tied to like ancient like dragon or this could be some type of like ancient text. Some of you all, this could actually be the shift to you releasing yourself from um, some of y'all, this is going to actually set you off into your life purpose because for some of you all, you have a life purpose of being a spiritual teacher, making people aware, being informative of um, historical things. Some of you all are very, uh, pro uh, possibly during this time, going to be pulled to like historical things, historical artifacts, and you may be even shopping and buying historical artifacts. Some of you all are needing to heal a situation. There's an opportunity to heal a situation with your father to some type, with some type of abandonment issue because I feel like your father actually wants to work on it. It's your own damn stubborn that's not allowing you to see past the hurt and actually see the progression you can't change the past but you can definitely influence how, how things move forward and you have to be receptive because i definitely see an apology coming that is going to release you from this mental prison of judging yourself or for that matter judging people and and making people guilty of a damn crime or breaking your damn heart before they even get a chance to do it because you don't want to let them in and i ain't saying for they get it because this shit here is not somebody who wants to come in and break in. This is new beginnings. Fruitful, emotional, passionate, stable beginnings. But in order to get them, baby, Spirit is giving you an opportunity to let that hurt go. This lighting is fucked up. I told you I ain't a rich bitch yet. But you see this man is cut up and hurt and holding on. For some of you all, this could be you if you are a female. 
for some of you all, you're having dreams during this time that's giving you a different perspective to, to assist you in letting that go. Because for some of you all, you're having to accept and surrender. Accept the fact that clarity will come from you, not from another person. But in order, in order for you to manifest, you getting that from another person. In order to win the war, you first got to surrender. And when you surrender, this is clarity truly able to reach you because you're able to, you're in a different space. You, you, you're vibing at a different level. And because you're vibing at a different level, you're seeing things differently. Things that you once saw as comfortable now feels like a fucking prison because you got too comfortable. Hey, shit, we gotta break that down and say, oh, don't you ever get too comfortable, comfortable. This, I think this goes to, I thank you, Spirit. This goes to whoever, whomever I was speaking to, speaking on, with holding on to a relationship or holding on to a person who consistently hurts you or break you down and make you feel less than. Because you feel as if you need that person for some form of stability that comes from within the self. Don't you? Maybe telling that person to the left, to the left. Oh, uh, I forgot. Ooh, I ain't heard that song in a long time. If you want to leave, be my guest. You can step. Bye, bitch. You understand? Some of you are, are not. Somebody, during, this, during the month of April, somebody is going to threaten somebody the wrong way. Somebody, I feel the, the energy of somebody telling Leo, well, you can leave if you don't like it. And, oh, you, oh, thank you. Bye. And I feel like this person, whomever I'm speaking about, they their power is in their sense of security in financial matters and when it comes to uh and when it comes to things of the material. But this person on the inside. Is someone holding on to a fear of, to a fear of abandonment? So it's like they attract that energy. Okay, they they they. It's like I I, I and I'm, I'm hearing pray. I didn't want to use that word, but spirit is saying go for it. Pray. They pray on energies that move in a in a space of either lack or this sense of naivety because they weren't taught due to a sense of abandonment from a father figure. Spirit is giving you the opportunity to heal, work on yourself, and come into alignment with self-love, baby. Okay? In order to receive that stable, brand new, loving, safe place. Alright? That's your spirit message for the month of April. So let's dig into your business just a little bit, just a little bit <laughs> for the month of April for my la 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 Leo in love. I was like, I was set up in tables and feng shui. I'm gonna get my feng shui popping over here. Get my little incense going. And my pop 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 type shit. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leo? Moon Rider Venus, as well as Cross Watchers for the month of April. First to the 15th. In love. Okay. Okay, so some of you all, some of you all may be receiving an offer of love. Okay, again, I go that so so you mean thank you, Spirit. For some of you all, you're meeting someone. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is very loving. It is safe to love this person. This person is not going to want to rush you in love. This person is going to want to offer you a, a steady offer. But I feel like that solid, uh, that steady offer is going to turn into something solid, but it's going to turn into something solid at your comfort. Okay. I definitely feel like this person again came into your life to assist you in healing, okay, so this is going to be someone who you can definitely talk to, this person may even come in and tell you that they want to be friends with you first, all right, um, for some of you all, some of you all got an apology coming from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and I feel like this person actually wants to offer you a cup of love, um, I definitely feel like this person could have gone through some form of transformative energy where um, they could have possibly had to release some things. And this person wants to come back and offer you something solid. Hmm. 
for some of you all, um, for some of you all, I definitely feel like this person could have had some type of addiction in the past, okay? This is, for some of y'all, this is past energy. I feel like if it's connected to Gemini Libra Aquarius, this is past energy, all right? Maybe you or this other person in the past had some form of addiction. So this could have been a sex addiction. This could have been a drinking addiction. For some of y'all, a person could have just overdid the weed. Like, why you can't smoke no reggie? You just gotta smoke loud? Like, we ain't even stop playing with me. Like, you better, uh, act your age, you know? So I feel like <laughs> this person is, could have actually released that. I definitely see this person healing okay this person wants to come back and heal a relationship be vulnerable with you open up to you and give you an explanation of why you know um the relationship could have really been left they really want to take accountability for their actions during this time you have a completely you just like fuck that you're not gonna put me back in this little cage state while i'm in my feelings feelings i'm all in my bag and i don't really just know how to get out my bag because i tied it up my damn self you know i feel like for some of you all um some of you guys could have a new uh, offer of love or an offer of stability. Someone wants to move forward. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I definitely feel like you or this other person has trust issues. You have a hard time holding on to things. And this is what's preventing this leap of faith uh, of someone being able to move forward and actually trust the process. Okay. Some of you guys could actually be, um, for some of you all, some of you guys could be connected to, um, with this food card. Some of y'all could actually be connected to the sign of Capricorn. Some of y'all could be offering a cup of love to, to a Capricorn. For some of you all, some of y'all are, um, possibly, some of y'all could have also been connected to an Aries person. And I feel like this person kind of kept you in this energy of being stuck in your head and kind of blaming yourself for why things couldn't move forward. I feel like this person is, is is wanting to be open and available during this time. In the month of April, I feel like this person is for wanting to come back and communicate. They also they also may oh, um actually apologize to you. Some of y'all may be receiving an apology from an Aries. It's I see. Then we feel a little spicy. Okay. For some of you all, this could be about um your job as well. For some of you all, you feel trapped at your job or you feel stuck, but spirit is kind to. There is some catalytic situations that could be occurring this first half of April. Again, remember, stay positive. It's not happening to you, but for you. For some of you all, you really want to take a leap of faith. You want to move towards um, new opportunities. And spirit is saying, now, Leo, go. Now, Leo, go. I've been bopping you on the head. For some of y'all, it's been three years you've been getting hit on the damn head. And you ain't made no damn decisions to move, okay? Some of you guys got fear guys that are fairies that are that are assisting you. And that they're assisting you through the love of people. Some of you guys, um, some of y'all, you may get an offer from an Aquarius during this time. This would be someone who um who you actually work with. And for some of you all, you 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 kind of very strict and stuck in your ways on, oh no, I'm not gonna talk to nobody at work. I'm not gonna do that. But for some of you, all spirit is saying it's safe. Y'all been in y'all head head. I'm surprised. I'm serious. Surprised y'all don't look like them damn airhead commercials where the shit just explode. For some of you all, you're releasing yourself from a toxic Aquarius. You feel like this person is toxic in the month of April. And offering that cup of love to this damn Capricorn. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. For some of you all, you're making a decision to actually leave a job during this time. Some of y'all, y'all petty. Some of y'all going to leave the damn job because you know the job finna fire you. you like, y'all got me fucked up. I'm going to leave for you fire me, shit. I'm fucking lying. Huh? <laughs> nah. But I feel like the work environment was very toxic. And when you leave, there's going to be this sense of peace. And for some of you all, you need not worry about how fast you're going to move or what it is that you're going to do next because I feel like you guys have been planning forever. Now you're kind of being forced to make that move. For some of you all, you're making a, you're making a judgment call when it comes to um, dealing with the relationship. This could be with the Capricorn towards Virgo that was already an existing relationship. This could be someone who you also have children with, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could actually um, could have cut somebody out. 
They could be finding out that you're pregnant. And you're having to make a judgment call on if you want to continue because I feel like this person keeps you in this place of disarray, keeps you in this place of illusionment. But some of you all, this could involve an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all are really needing to protect yourself. For some of you all, there's a, there's a need for you guys to um, connect with the selenite one during this time. I know you're like, Mocha, what it do? Mm -mm. I give y'all all the damn juice. Google is free. Go look it up because we family and I love you. Yeah. For some of you all, you're indecisive about keeping the keeping a child or continuing a family situation due to someone drinking a whole damn lot. Some of you all manifested this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or manifested uh, a new beginning. Okay, I feel like you look at this person as wish fulfillment. All right, this could be someone who you see as independent. Or, or, I'm sorry, some some of you guys could have manifested. You manifested this person's return. Through your damn obsessive thoughts. This could definitely be someone who you have a child with. However, in order for things to be successful. And for you guys to have this renewed sense of love with this person. You need to go independent. So you're having to let something go in order to get something better. And for some of you all, you're really not you're not trusting your intuition. For some of you all, you could be having dreams and telepathic, telepathic like some type of telepathic connection with this person. For some of you all, you're having dreams into the future. You're seeing possibly future children with this person. And there is so much love here. I got the King and Queen of Cups. For some of you all, you having to release a relationship that you feel tied to, you holding on to it due to finances or some type of family structure or this fear of you not being financially stable. The spirit is saying, as soon as you, as soon as you let that hurt go, boo, I'm going to bless you. That person is not meant to walk into your season of stability. Okay? So this is what I have for my la 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 leo. Some of y'all also dealing with the sign of Pisces. But, you guys, I see stability. I see overthinking. And you overthinking a situation that you know you're going to have to release anyway. You standing in your own way. This could involve Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. This could also be the mother or father of your children. But I definitely feel like two people both feel stuck. Or you feel stuck. You feel as if you're stuck. I was gonna tell y'all ass by, but I just I had I, I said, well, if I see it, I'm gonna I'm 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 say it. For some of you all, you feel stuck, or you feel like this job, or where you, where you how you receive your finances is preventing you. Some of you guys feel trapped, or you're gonna find out some type of truth about possibly the mother or the father of your children, like. For some of y'all, this person could have been using some damn magic. Their face. Okay? For some of you all, if you feel during this time, don't eat somebody's food or somebody's, you feel a little funny, trust that. For some of you all, you may have a fear that someone was using some type of magic to keep your family together or like away from one another or some, some, or like some sense of like bondage for some of you all and some sense of prevention for others. But baby, God got the last say so. No, look, no malice formed against you shall prosper, baby. You ain't stuck. You the creator of your own destiny. However, can't nobody cut you down but you. Get out your own way, Leo. Because the only way forward is moving forward and actually ending that cycle.
closing the door, turning the damn wheel, and walking into a whole new peaceful, peaceful realm. One that is prosperous, one that is full of peace, one that is full of blessings, one that is healing, one that is compassionate, unconditional. And for some of you all, you dreaming it, you seen it. Trust yourself. All right? So I love y'all, baby. Many blessings. Much love. Namaste. If you need that personal reading, that information will be found within the description below. Bye, booze.